welcome back to another video so if you've been in the market for some yellow fog lights and you've uh, come across these this style of aux beam uh, LED lights and you're thinking of buying it well here's my uh, review on these lights I've had them for going uh, two years now so let me show you what's going on with them and give you my opinion of you should buy them or not. Alright, so originally when I was looking uh, for yellow fog lights for snow uh, reasons, I came across these particular ones. For one, they were aux beam, then I've heard good things about aux beam. I've used their light bulbs on uh, different vehicles before and they were, they were good. They didn't burn out, they didn't have flickering issues. So I ordered these. I paid at that time, it was like $74 for for both of them and I got them in the springtime installed them they were fine they looked good but then winter time came around and that's when the issue started they instantly started fogging up and not only were they fogging up they started pulling the water inside of them and I took them apart thinking I just need to clean them out but what happens is the chrome inside the the lights themselves, they start, it like, uh, it uh, comes off and it becomes black inside. So I contacted Oxbeam about it. They said, hey, send us your order number and we'll send you a new set. Which they did and it was around August of last year and uh, I installed them, you know, it was, it was quick. The customer service was great. I installed the new ones. Once again, this winter comes around, they do the same exact thing. So I emailed them like, hey, can you guys just send me a different, completely different set? Then uh, their response was, no, sorry, we already sent you uh, a set. We're not gonna, you know, you're basically, you're on your own. So if you wanna buy these, I would not recommend them because, well, they're, they fog up, they're, they're, not only, like I said, fogging up, they pull water inside of them. It looks like a little aquarium in there. So if you want to buy these, I would not recommend them. Um, I'll show you these little rigid pod lights that I have. I installed them the same day as I installed these. And they're bone dry. And I'll show you exactly what's going on with these. So here are the rigid pod lights. As you can see, there is no, no pooling of water, no fogging. Uh, it's winter time right now. But then we go over to these. As you can see, there's a little bit of water in this one. I mean, this one's not as bad, but look at this one right here. You can see, you can see all that, all that water collecting. So this light is useless. This right here, I thought you could clean this off. But this is all just, it gets stained or like deteriorates the, uh, the chrome. So, yeah, these are, in my opinion, not worth wasting your, your time and your money. They're, I believe they're like $90 right now, last time I checked on Amazon. So, I mean, the light output them of, of them is okay. It's not the best, but... I, mean, I, I really like the way they looked in my Jeep. But I'm gonna have to figure something else out. I'll put a clip of uh, how they perform in the, in the snow. They're, they're okay. They do their job. So yeah, if you're in the market and you came across these and you've, uh, and you've thought about purchasing these particular ones, I wouldn't recommend. I wouldn't recommend it. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, and I will uh, see you in the next video.